What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Drive to Thrive. In today's video, I want to take a look at BlackBerry and do some quick analysis on it and see uh, how this last week went and what to expect in the coming week. So if you guys are brand new to this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing and all that fun stuff. But otherwise, let's get started. Alright guys, so looking at BlackBerry here on the daily chart, I drew this uh, rising trend line here going back to November 2020. Looks like this is a great area to get started and uh, we had a couple of reactions along this, uh, along this trend line. You know, then once we broke over in March, just kind of consolidated, used the 200 day moving average as our support. And then bang, off we went up again and looks like we are again testing this trend line. So definitely something a lot of traders are looking. So if we zoom in on the 15 minute chart, we can tell that we got two tries here and uh, still holding. So the area that I'm looking to get in on the BlackBerry would be anywhere around this support at $12. And this kind of correlates with this gap that we have just between uh, 1238 and 1166. So this would be a nice area to get in if we pull all the way back here. And if I change my moving average down to 20 days, then you can also tell that this kind of corresponds. So you get also like almost like a triple effect here. You got the, two, the 20 day moving average, you got the raising, rising trend line, and you got the support just beneath it. So great area to start uh, getting in. Now, quick look at the short interest here. So as of June 18th, we are down to 18.31%. So the short interest is definitely declining. And if we take a quick look at this chart, we can tell we peaked somewhere in the beginning of June, which also correlates with the peak we had back on June 3rd, June 4th. So uh, yeah, the options that I'm looking to uh, buy and I've currently started buying them are these Friday, December 17th, 2021 contracts. So that gives me about 181 days six months you know so lots of time for blackberry to do its thing and the strike price is this 12 dollars strike price so currently these options are about 380 dollars and our break even on this trade as of today would be 12 dollars plus 380 so 1580 so if we go to our daily so 1580 would be Let's see, 1574 until December 17th. So somewhere over here. So from current levels, that'd be a move of about 21, 22% for us to break even if we hold this option all the way through expiration. But the quicker we get there, the more money we get to make on it. So my game plan is to start buying around these levels right here, which I did. And if we do end up breaking this uh, support at 12, then my next area that I'd be looking to add in would be at this 200 day moving average, which is currently down about the 931. So I'd add in a few more contracts at the $9.50, $10 level, just to dollar cost average and if we do break down this 200 day moving average, then I'd be looking to either get out or by then I think these options are gonna be so cheap that I'll just load up and uh, hope for the best, you know, but the maximum amount of money that I'm looking to allocate on this trade is about $1,500. That'd be my maximum risk that I'm looking to uh, put in on this trade. And currently I have $465. So there is at least thousand dollars, you know, for me to play with. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button as well as uh, subscribe and we'll see you in another video. Ciao, ciao.